Elizabeth Kubler Ross, July 8, 1926 to August 24, 2004, was a Swiss-American psychiatrist, a pioneer in near-death studies, and the author of the groundbreaking book on death and dying, 1969, where she first discussed her theory of the five stages of grief, also known as the Kubler Ross model. She was a 2007 inductee into the National Women's Hall of Fame. She was the recipient of 19 honorary degrees and by July 1982 had taught, in her estimation, 125,000 students in death and dying courses in colleges, seminaries, medical schools, hospitals, and social work institutions. In 1970, she delivered an Ingersoll lecture at Harvard University on the theme on death and dying. <laughs> Birth and education Elizabeth Kubler was born on July 8, 1926, in Zurich, Switzerland, one of triplets. Elizabeth was born 15 minutes before her identical sister Erica. Minutes later came her sister Eva. Her family were Protestant Christians. Her father did not want her to study medicine, but she persisted. Eventually her father took pride in her career. In an interview she stated, In Switzerland I was educated in line with the basic premise, work work work. You are only a valuable human being if you work. This is utterly wrong. Half working, half dancing, that is the right mixture. I myself have danced and played too little. During World War II she became involved in refugee relief work in Zurich and later visited Majdanek death camp. She graduated from the University of Zurich Medical School in 1957. Personal life In 1958 she married a fellow medical student from America, Emanuel Manny Ross, and moved to the United States. Becoming pregnant disqualified her from a residency in pediatrics, so she took one in psychiatry. After suffering two miscarriages, she had a son, Kenneth, and a daughter, Barbara, in the early 1960s. Her husband requested a divorce in 1979. Topic. Academic career Kubler Ross moved to New York in 1958 to work and continued her studies. As she began her psychiatric residency, she was appalled by the hospital treatment of patients in the U.S. who were dying. She began giving a series of lectures featuring terminally ill patients, forcing medical students to face people who were dying. In 1962 she accepted a position at the University of Colorado School of Medicine. Kubler Ross completed her training in psychiatry in 1963, and moved to Chicago in 1965. She became an instructor at the University of Chicago's Pritzker School of Medicine. She developed there a series of seminars using interviews with terminal patients, which drew both praise and criticism. She sometimes questioned the practices of traditional psychiatry that she observed. She also undertook 39 months of classical psychoanalysis training in Chicago. Her extensive work with the dying led to the book on death and dying in 1969. In it, she proposed the now famous five stages of grief as a pattern of adjustment, denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and acceptance. In general, individuals experience most of these stages when faced with their imminent death. The five stages have since been adopted by many as applying to the survivors of a loved one's death, as well. <laughs> <laughs> Healing Center Kubler Ross encouraged the hospice care movement, believing that euthanasia prevents people from completing their unfinished business. In 1977 she persuaded her husband to buy 40 acres of land in Escondido, California, near San Diego, where she founded Shanti Nilaya, Home of Peace. She intended it as a healing center for the dying and their families. She was also a co-founder of the American Holistic Medical Association. In the late 1970s, she became interested in out-of-body experiences, mediumship, spiritualism, and other ways of attempting to contact the dead. This led to a scandal connected to the Shanti Nilaya Healing Center, in which she was duped by J. Barham, founder of the Church of the Facet of the Divinity. Claiming he could channel the spirits of the departed and summon ethereal entities, he encouraged church members to engage in sexual relations with the 
spirits. He may have hired several women to play the parts of female spirits for this purpose. Kubler Ross' friend Deanna Edwards attended a service to ascertain whether allegations against Barham were true. He was found to be naked and wearing only a turban when Edwards unexpectedly pulled masking tape off the light switch and flipped on the light. Investigations on near-death experiences Kubler Ross also dealt with the phenomenon of near-death experiences. She reported on her interviews for the first time in her book On Death and Dying. What the Dying Have to Teach Doctors, Nurses, Clergy, and Their Own Families 1969. AIDS work One of her greatest wishes was her plan to build a hospice for infants and children infected with HIV to give them a last home where they could live until their death, inspired by the aid project of British doctor Cicely Saunders. In 1985 she attempted to do this in Virginia, but local residents feared the possibility of infection and blocked the necessary rezoning. In 1994, she lost her house and possessions to an arson fire that is suspected to have been set by opponents of her AIDS work. She conducted many workshops on AIDS in different parts of the world. In 1990 she moved the healing center to her own farm in Headwaters, Virginia, to reduce her extensive traveling. <laughs> Death Kubler Ross suffered a series of strokes in 1995 which left her partially paralyzed on her left side, and the Shanti Nilaya Healing Center closed around that time. She found living in a wheelchair, slowly waiting for death to come, an unbearable suffering, and wished to be able to determine her time of death. In a 2002 interview with the Arizona Republic, she stated that she was ready for death. She died in 2004 at a nursing home in Scottsdale, Arizona, and was buried at the Paradise Memorial Garden Cemetery. <laughs> Honorary degrees Doctor of Science, H.C., Albany Medical College, New York 1974 Doctor of Laws, University of Notre Dame, in, 1974 Doctor of Science, Smith College 1975 Doctor of Science, Malloy College, Rockville Center, N.Y., 1976 Doctor of Humanities, St. Mary's College, Notre Dame, in. 1975 Doctor of Laws, Hamlin University, M.N., 1975 Doctor of Humane Letters, Amherst College, M.A., 1975 Doctor of Humane Letters, Loyola University, Ill, 1975 Doctor of Humanities, Hood College, M.D., 1976 Doctor of Letters, Rosary College, Ill. 1976 Doctor of Pedagogy, Kuka College, N.Y. 1976 Doctor of Humane Science, University of Miami, Florida 1976 Doctor of Humane Letters, Bard College, N.Y. 1977 Doctor of Science, Regis College, Weston, M.A., 1977 Honorary Degree, Anna Maria College, M.A. 1978 Doctor of Humane Letters, Union College, New York 1978 Doctor of Humane Letters, De Uval College, New York 1979 Doctor of Science, Fairla Dickinson University, 1979 Doctor of Divinity, 1996 Topic selected Bibliography on Death and Dying, Simon & Schuster, Touchstone, 1969 Questions and Answers on Death and Dying, Simon & Schuster, Touchstone, 1972 Death, The Final Stage of Growth, Simon & Schuster, Touchstone, 1974 Questions and Answers on Death and Dying, A Memoir of Living and Dying, Macmillan, 1976. ISBN 0-02-567120-0 
To live until we say goodbye, Simon & Schuster, Touchstone, 1978 The Dougie Letter A Letter to a Dying Child, Celestial Arts, 10 Speed Press, 1979 Quest, Biography of E.K.R. Written with Derek Gill, Harper and Rowe, 1980 Working It Through, Simon & Schuster, Touchstone, 1981 Living with Death and Dying, Simon & Schuster, Touchstone, 1981 Remember the Secret, Celestial Arts, 10 Speed Press, 1981 On Children and Death, Simon & Schuster, 1980 85 AIDS, The Ultimate Challenge, Simon & Schuster, 1988 On Life After Death, Celestial Arts, 1991 Death is of Vital Importance, Out of Print Now The Tunnel and the Light, 1995 Unfolding the Wings of Love, Germany Only, Silberschener, 1996 Making the Most of the In-Between, Various Foreign, 1996 AIDS and Love, The Conference in Barcelona, Spain, 1996 Longing to Go Back Home, Germany Only, Silberschener, 1997 Working It Through, and Elizabeth Kubler Ross Workshop on Life, Death, and Transition, Simon & Schuster, 1997. ISBN 0-684-83942-3. The Wheel of Life, A Memoir of Living and Dying, Simon & Schuster, Scribner, 1997 Why Are We Here, Germany Only, Silberschener, 1999 The Tunnel and the Light, Avalon, 1999 Life Lessons, Two Experts on Death and Dying Teach Us About the Mysteries of Life and Living, with David Kessler, Scribner, 2001. ISBN 0-684-87074-6. On Grief and Grieving, Finding the Meaning of Grief Through the Five Stages of Loss, with David Kessler. Scribner, 2005. ISBN 0-7432-6628-5. Real Taste of Life, a Photographic Journal.